Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News. Today, I'm Matthew, and on this episode, we're gonna be doing a VHS review, because today we're gonna talk about the original, the one, the only, the 1986 Transformers animated movie. This is not the right box. Okay, so I guess today we're not gonna talk about the movie. We'll save that for another day. But what we do have today is a toy review coming to us courtesy of Diamond Select. And we're taking a look at their Transformers, the movie, Mini Mates. And as I already alluded to, this ain't no Michael Bay formers here. This is the real deal, 1986 style Transformers straight out of the movie into your hands. And what we're gonna look at today is in fact an SDCC 2023 exclusive, but it's still one that is readily available, I believe. So it's not gonna be super hard to find. It's still out there right now. Now, previously on this channel, we've looked at a ton of Mini Mates, and the Transformers ones have been really one of the best lines I've ever done. Now, I already know for a fact that there's a lot of folks out there who have collected these and might not be too familiar with Mini Mates, and they're not happy about the fact that the articulation might be a little funny with them. They don't like the look of them. You know, to be fair, I get it. They kind of are for a certain type of collector, but for me, I really like the Mini Mates, and I really love what they're doing with them in the world of Transformers. Now what is extra cool about this is that you can see here, it's meant to look like a classic VHS tape here. And this is something that they've been doing across different Mini Mates waves, and really not just Mini Mates, but Diamond Select has also done with their full-size action figures. Last year at San Diego Comic-Con 2022, we got this right here, which is the Transformers VHS style packaging for a bunch of Mini Mates that they'd previously released, but now with a different deco. And we also got this right here. This is a Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon-esque style action figure done in like the classic real puffy VHS cases, which is really, really cool. And I gotta tell you guys, I like both of these a lot. They're really cool. The packaging is wonderful. And it's fun actually just putting them on your shelf and fooling people to thinking that they're legitimate tapes. And Diamond even went one step further last year when they did a DVD case. Obviously this is a little bit thicker than a real DVD case, but when you do open it up, you can actually see like, boom, there you guys go. You've actually got a DVD hiding right inside there. Not the real thing, of course, but it's there. So it's really fun to have these kind of throwbacks in toy form. And since this Transformers one is meant to be a VHS, that means it is in fact the kind of thing that slides right out of the packaging, as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the grand unveiling right now and let's see what this looks like. And right here, you guys can see this side of the box, which has all the Transformers in there that are getting in this series. And this multi-pack includes Stasis Lock Optimus Prime, AKA traumatizing dead Optimus Prime who scarred children in the 80s, Hot Rod, Thundercracker, and Ultra Magnus. So that's all well and good, but the VHS fun doesn't end here because if we actually turn it to the other side, there's an actual cassette tape design on this packaging. Now that is awesome. And if you want to even go one step further, if you go and look at the top of the box here, it actually has like an old label you would do with like scotch tape or something. That is, that's amazing. What a great little detail to have on this packaging already. And FYI, this is a two night rental, but if you buy it for yourself, you get to keep it forever. Just do make sure if you are renting it, please be kind and rewind. And I gotta tell you guys, the packaging top to bottom is amazing. I mean, I didn't even mention the front of the box here too much, but you guys can already see it. It's got the amazing Transformers the movie poster that came out in 86. And that is just such a spectacular action packed design. You've got Unicron hanging out on top. You've got all the Transformers blasting away. It's such a cool poster. And it was something that was part of the original VHS as well. So it's cool to see it in that format. So I gotta tell you guys, I'm already digging this thing here, but let's go ahead now and get our Transformers out, out of, I was gonna say out of the box, but out of the cassette, I think is more appropriate. So let's get them out of the VHS and let's take a close look at them from all angles. And here are our Transformers, the movie Mini Mates. There you guys can see them now all lined up. So one more time, we have Stasis Lock Optimus Prime. We have the Decepticons Thundercracker. We have Hot Rod and we have Ultra Magnus. So this is pretty cool. I think this is actually the first time we've gotten Ultra Magnus in the entire line. Uh, I think Hot Rod might be brand new as well. Thundercracker is basically a repaint of any of the Jet style Transformers. And Optimus is clearly a repaint, but with a few new accessories that we're gonna get into in a few minutes. Let's just start by just taking a quick pan at all these guys here. And I think they look amazing right out of the bat, you know, straight out of the packaging. These things look great. They look, you know, I wanna say accurate, but obviously they're not screen accurate because they were done in the Mini Mate style, but they are accurate as far as like getting in all those great little details that they've somehow found a way to squeeze into the Mini Mate style. And that's like one of the fun things about these toys is that really at the end of the day, like yes, they're collectibles, but they're also very nice as toys. So while they might be a little bit more hefty than the typical toy you'd get for like some kids, you can actually give them to kids and let them play with them. It wouldn't be a great loss. And uh, they're a perfect size, just kind of stuff into your pocket and take them wherever you want to go. But really these things just look wonderful. They've captured a lot of the spirit of those original Transformers cartoons without the look of the toys. And I have to tell you guys, you know, this is, might be some heresy right here, but 
You know, I was never a big Transformers toy fan as a kid growing up. I've talked about in other videos how I just really wasn't too into the transforming gimmick of them, I guess. Like, I wanted my toys to actually pose and run around and do stuff. And most of the Transformers were very limiting in how you could play with them, I guess, other than transforming them and whatever. I wanted more posability and that kind of thing. So this is actually kind of ideal for me personally. And for Transformers collectors, it's kind of a more fun, innovative way to have Transformers in a different way than the typical transforming big bots you're used to. So anyway, that's kind of like a quick little rant here, but let's start getting into some of the details about all these guys. So we're going to start looking at them one by one, and let's start with Stasis Lock Optimus. So here is Optimus Prime. This is basically dead Optimus. Let's just call it what it is, folks. Uh, this is the moment that traumatized an entire 80s generation of kids. The moment that Optimus Prime passed away. Uh, granted, he did come back but that's a story for another time. But yeah, in the movie, that was pretty horrific uh, to watch a Transformer. I mean, not just Optimus, but you know, a lot of Transformers gave their lives in that movie. But Optimus was one that nobody expected to see go bye-bye. But yeah, essentially this Optimus is for the most part a repaint of a previous Optimus that we got, which would have been the full colored version. And they've actually done now, I think two total of Optimus, not counting this one. There's one just in like cartoon colors, one that was in a shinier color, like most of these other figures are here. But all the details are there, every little part of this. Now, just a reminder, of course, this figure does not transform. None of these transform. They're all just about getting the characters in the Minimate stance, the Minimate style. Um, but they still got a lot of the details that you would have liked to have seen in them. I mean, from the grill on Optimus to the little mechanical doohickeys that are all across his body. His helmet is really nice as well. So all those details are there. What is a little bit different about this version of Optimus is the chest piece. Now, again, if you're unfamiliar with the Minimates, one thing you need to know we're going to tell you about right now is that they're all modular off the bat. So if you want to customize, it is so easy to take pieces in and out of them. And the Optimus here, you see he's got his chest part open. That's so that he can open up and give the spark of leadership to Hot Rod. And if you're curious, yes, you actually do get an additional chest piece here. If you just want to have Optimus be Optimus not quite before he's totally kaput and open up his chest. So yeah, there's two chest pieces here. And the way you're going to work with that is we'll just pop the head off of Optimus completely. Actually, we'll show you the head first as well, because that's another one of his accessories, by the way. Uh, so you, you can see right now his eyes are kind of like unlit and they're dark. There is an alternate head sculpt for this Optimus as well. Same thing, just has blue eyes, so he's not dead yet. But yeah, we're going to just go ahead and I'll show you guys how the swap out works. We'll just pop the head off. It's that easy. The chest part comes out. Yeah, the legs come out as well very easily. That's what I mean. Everything is customizable here. Uh, but yeah, all we got to do is kind of just peel this part back. You can see, now this is actually new. You can see like the spark of leadership hidden inside his chest. That's kind of a fun touch. But we can slide the body back in. It kind of snaps into place. It's a soft rubber material that is being used for the bodies. So very easy to deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead and put the blue eyes on him, and then we'll put the helmet back on as well. And Optimus is now redressed and back to life that easily. That's how good he looks here. So this Optimus, by the way, has the most accessories out of anybody that's in this uh, multi-pack here, because in addition to the different chest plate and different to the alternate head, he comes with the spark of leadership, the matrix of leadership. So uh, this is, you know, really actually a multi-person accessory because you can obviously give it to Hot Rod as well, but this would be what would be coming out of his chest and he does have it. We'll try it out with Hot Rod later on as well. But off the bat, a lot of different accessories you get with this character. And the character again, just looks really good. I mean, this is what I want to see. All the great details, all the little nooks and crannies that these classic figures had. You get them now here in Minimate form. So. That is Stasis Lock Optimus, looking great. No such thing as a bad Optimus Prime figure ever really is there. But let's go ahead and check out Thundercracker. And here's our only Decepticon in the pack, Thundercracker. Now, as I mentioned, he is essentially a repaint of the Starscream we've gotten before. I think they did another one as well. I don't remember which one they did. I feel like they did another one of the Jet characters. I really like these designs, uh, especially in Minimate form. I think these actually look really great. They're some of the best ones they've got here because these characters have just a lot of cool elements to them. And I want to also point out just like the paint detail that you're going to see across the board with all these. They all have this like great luster to them that makes them look really metallic. Obviously, there are no die cast parts here. These are all plastic pieces of varying firmness, but the really nice even paint jobs on them makes them shine and pop. And I really, really dig that with these Transformers because you got to have that look. Now, there have been other sets that they've been painted in the style of the animated series. So they're more kind of like cell shaded. And uh, that just means that they have like, you know, a flatter matte finish, but with more like kind of toning to help make it look like there's actual depth to them. Same thing that you kind of see with like the uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends are doing the X-Men and the Spider-Man animated series toys. Same kind of thing. But 
In the case of the movies, they are sticking to the shiny look here, and I think it's really wonderful looking. Now, Thundercracker does not come with any accessories because he's already armed with his blasters on his shoulder pieces there. These are not articulated, so if you want him to use them, you are going to have to move his arms up into position. Unfortunately, on Thundercracker, uh, because of the design of him, his mobility is very, very limited. These are very thick chest plates that are on really pretty much almost all the Transformers that we're looking at today. So that does make some of them harder to move than others. Uh, you might be also watching this and being like, oh, this guy's not really kind of standing up entirely straight. At the moment, I've actually got him going good here. We're going to come back to that point in a little bit, and I'll show you how to get these guys standing up straight. But at the very least, they are standing up on their own, under their own power. So that's a positive. Mini mates typically don't have these like kind of giant boots on them either. So that is kind of maybe throwing off his stance a little bit, but with a little bit of posing, it really doesn't take long. You saw me just do it right here. You can get them to stand up straight. Just, you know, for the purposes of this video, and I'm kind of moving a little bit quickly here, you will see that some of them look a little bit more bow-legged than others, but it is an easily resolvable problem and you'll see why in a few more minutes. Now let's go ahead and have Jetfire take off and bring in our next figure, which is gonna be Hot Rod. There is Hot Rod, the future inheritor of the Matrix of Leadership. Again, talk about great design. Uh, what a cool looking version of a Transformer to begin with. I mean, I always liked his design as a Transformer. It, it really did feel like it was the next step in the cartoon because the other, the other characters are so boxy looking and he was a little bit curvier, you know, um, as much as you can be for a giant metal car man. But I think it's a great design and it looks really good here. The colors, again, they pop real nicely. The shine is great. This is really just wonderful stuff here. Check out his wrist blasters. You've got the tire on his arm. Really cool stuff here. And I think Hot Rod is now a great time to point out how the articulation tends to work on these figures because the way that most mini mates are, they don't really have as many things on their chest, so they're going to be a little bit more easy to manipulate. But the entire Transformers wave, they all have these big, bulky chest pieces, so moving them around can be a little bit harder, but we're going to try today. Uh, but yeah, they have actually a great range of motion. Like their shoulders are ball jointed, the necks are ball jointed as well. The waists can turn. You can see that right there. A little bit difficult because my hands are in the way, but they can turn and maneuver. The legs are good. They've got single joint knee. Uh, ankles will move, but not on these because this is, again, the Transformers, and they're a little bit bulkier. So there is a pretty solid amount of articulation here. And if you want to see more about the articulation, I recommend you check out another recent Minimate review, which was my review of the AEW Minimates. I'm really liking that line. That's going to be expanding a lot in 2024. And likewise, I'm pretty confident that Transformers is going to continue also. But yeah, the articulation is really great. The paint job is really great. I mean, the whole character looks spectacular the way he's presented here. But he's not complete yet because we also have his accessory. This little tiny thing here is Hot Rod's blaster. You can see how small that is. It is very, very small. Uh, he was flying out of my hands, in fact. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this into his hand right now to start hopefully preventing that. But there you guys go. You can see he's got it's a little hot rod blaster in his hands. Besides it being adorable, it's fairly accurate as well. Uh, so that just looks great. So there is Hot Rod all decked out, ready for some action. But we still have one more Transformer to take a look at. And that would be this big boy right here. This is our Ultra Magnus, originally voiced by Robert Stack in the film, I believe. And uh, yeah, he, he is enormous. He was hoping he'd be the leader, but nope, it was Hot Rod all along. So. Ultra Magnus, as you guys saw earlier in my comparison shot, he is the biggest one in this bunch, and rightfully so, because he is a huge Transformer toy and massive character also. But again, you know, this is one of the fun ones too, because when they start doing bigger characters, they got more room to play and more bits and pieces to put on the character. So we have like a lot more fun parts here. Uh, you can see arms are moving real nicely, the elbows are moving. The wrists also rotate as well, which I didn't point out earlier, but the wrists do rotate. It's just so hard to show you guys because how tiny they are. But yeah, again, wonderful articulation. He's standing up real nice and flat also. But check out all this great detail that's on his chest piece, on his gauntlets. He even has the Autobot logo right there on his shoulders. Uh, likewise from behind. You know, really any angle, these guys look great. Like a lot of times I will say mini mates from behind, they don't look that exciting because there's not much going on there. But because these are Transformers and they have so much going on for them all the time that yeah, there actually is a lot more detail. Like even those little tires on his boots. How, how cute is that? Yeah, these guys are great. Now, I will say too, you know, I've used the word cute and adorable a few times here and that might not be for every collector. I'm not trying to say that these are like kawaii, cutie, Japanese, you know, little toys like that. Like, no, not at all. They're just, they are very compact versions and I think they're cute mostly because of the size, but they really are pretty accurate. I mean, it's not like there's anything chibi about these figures here. There's nothing like in your face, cutesy wootsy. 
these just are what they are, and I think they look great, and they're still very excellent representations of a pretty classic toy. But moving forward now with this review, our Ultra Magnus also has an accessory, just like Hot Rod did. He has this really big blaster. I mean, you can't be Ultra Magnus and not have a gun as big as you are. So we'll just go ahead and put that in his hands, and you can see how enormous that's going to be, because, yeah, it really is. Check out that now in his arms. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Diamond Select like, really does their homework. When Diamond Select does any license that's, you know, outside of one of their IPs, and for the most part, they're doing things always outside of their own IPs, because I think Rebel Moon is going to be their new one that's theirs. But other than that, you know, they're doing a lot of franchises out there, and they need to be honoring them and be as loyal as they can to the looks of these characters. And I think lines like Transformers, especially here, they really kind of show you just, like, how much effort they put into getting their stuff looking show accurate. And since I mentioned it, we can't forget it, but here is that matrix of leadership as well, right next to Hot Rod. So if you want to swap out the gun for the matrix, he should be able to hold it without rip, any real problems here. You can see the arm, by the way, just popped out on him. Um, that's totally normal because of the way these figures are. They can pop in and out like that, again, because of how customizable they are. It's just that that armor is, like, so enormous on him. So, all right, he might not be able to hold it the way you want him to get it, but he should still be able to get it into at least one hand, hopefully two. But... Yeah, here he is holding it right now with one hand, so there you guys go. Matrix is in his hands. Now, collectively, all of these figures come with one additional accessory. They all come with a base. This is the base you get with any Minimates purchase you actually make. doesn't matter what kind of Minimates pack it is, whether it's a two-pack, single-pack, four-pack, whatever it is, bigger packs. They always come with their little Minimate bases, and they are universal. So these things can fit any Minimate that's out there. And, you know, I'm going to put them on just to show you guys how they work, but clearly you've seen we don't really need them. Uh, they have little peg holes in the bottom of their feet. We just slide it in. Boom, they're done. I mean, we don't really need it. They've been standing up on their own fine. The nice thing about using it is they will stand up a little bit straighter, though, because like, you know how Optimus has been kind of bow-legged a little bit this entire video. But once we get him on the base, he'll, he, he will stand up a lot flatter. Uh, in fact, there we go. We can kind of swiggle him around. He'll eventually get into like a more flat kind of position. So it's not needed, but it's very helpful just to kind of like really kind of get everything concrete the way it should be and not worry about them flopping over or anything like that. Now, I know that these mini mates are not for everybody because a lot of folks are going to see these. And like I said earlier, they're going to think these are like some kawaii, chibi sort of nonsense. But really, mini mates have actually been around for a very long time and they're not intended to be like cutesy. They just kind of sometimes are that way. Uh, it's just the way that their designs work. They're smaller versions of things and that can make them look a little bit more adorable, I guess, for lack of a better word. But really, these actually are pretty accurate depictions of these classic characters, whether it be in their movie form or their toy form. They're really nailing the look. They're just putting it in a very compact way that fits the Minimates world. And that Minimates world is very expansive because that world also includes things like Ghostbusters. We've gotten G.I. Joes in the last few months, really. Uh, we've gotten pretty much anything out there. I mean, the Marvel line is enormous and like one of their biggest things out there. So, yeah, Minimates have been around for a long time, and there's a pretty large, diverse universe out there with these characters. And I think if you're collecting Minimates to begin with, you're going to want to always have all these guys, because it's, like, one of the coolest ways to get everybody together in a similar scale. But uh, they're also just pretty darn good-looking, I think. I think they stand out on their own for what they're meant to be. Uh, they're a great-looking toy line, good articulation, wonderful accessories. Top to bottom, they're some of my favorite things out there, and I always love talking about them and sharing the news about what these things are to folks who've never heard them before. And this is definitely one of the premier sets, I would say, of this. So if you are jumping into Minimates for the first time, or if you're a Transformers fan and kind of on the fence about these things, I think this is a very solid way to kind of test the waters and see if you like them. Because even if you don't take them out of the box like I did here, you can just leave them in that packaging. And that's pretty cool alone right there to have in your collection. But that said, if you do want to pick these guys up for yourself, go ahead and check out my affiliate links in the description of this video below. I'm going to have links to a few different places you can pick these toys up. And if you use any of those links, it costs you nothing extra and helps support this channel. So that's our look at the SDCC 2023 Transformers the Movies Mini Mates exclusive coming to you from Diamond Select. These are still available right now, and you can still get them at good prices, so if you want them, go ahead and scoop them up. Until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget that you've got the touch, and you've got the power. We'll see you next time.